Welcome back to our weekly toddler and preschool lessons. This week, we're learning about the letter B, God's masterpiece. And we're also learning about bees. So God created so many wonderful and amazing insects. He purposefully created each type of insect and each one has an important place in the world. Bed bugs, spiders, ants, and even cockroaches are all important. Bees also play a very important role in our lives. Honey bees and other bees are important because they pollinate flowers that produce the fruit we eat. Trees and plants must be pollinated in order for them to produce a crop. If they don't get pollinated, then they don't produce fruit. Plants can be pollinated in different ways. Bees are responsible for pollinating about one third of our trees and crops that produce food we eat. Without bees, we would have far less food to eat. God created bees for, this, for a special purpose. They have a very, very big job to do, but he made them perfectly suited for the job. They all work together and each has a special job. No job is more important than the other. There are lots of different kinds of bees, but honeybees are especially good at pollinating. Let's look at some of the jobs that honeybees do. The queen bee, there's only one queen bee for each hive. She spends her whole life laying eggs to make more bees. She will lay over 200,000 eggs in one season. Now let's learn about the drone bees. There are about 100 drone bees. Their only job is to mate with the queen bee. And then there are the worker bees. There are thousands of worker bees in the hive. They all have special jobs to do according to their age. The youngest bees stay in the hive and work. They keep the hive clean and look after the baby bees. Some of them take care of the queen bee and the drones. They also make wax to make the honeycomb bigger. As the bees get older, they work at the outer edge of the hive. Some build new cells to make the hive bigger. They fan the nest with their wings to cool it off when it gets too hot. If it's still too hot, some bees will come bring water to the hive to help it cool off. And if it gets too cold, they will produce heat. Some of the worker bees guard the hive. Other worker bees go out and collect the pollen and nectar from flowers. As you can see, there are many, many things that have to be done in order to keep the hive going, and each bee is very important. Think about it. If God created these tiny little insects for such an important job, how much more important is the job you were created for? Just like these insects, God has a plan for your life, but you are so so much more important than an insect. The Bible says in Ephesians 2.10, we are God's masterpiece and with Jesus at work within us, we can do the good things he planned for us to do. God created you different than the bees. You are much, much more important to him than the bees. He created you in his image and gave you a free will. That means that he gave the ability to choose how you will live your life. Now let's do a craft. For this craft, you're gonna have three sheets of paper. The first one, you're gonna have a cloud and you're gonna wanna cut out the cloud like this. And then you have the flowers and you're gonna wanna color them in and cut them out like I did. And finally, you're gonna have bees and you're gonna to wanna to cut those ones out too. Along with those, you're gonna need a pair of scissors, a hole punch, some string, and the help of a parent. We are going to be making a bee and flower mobile. So what I'm gonna do is, you should have six bees and I'm gonna take three of the bees and I'm gonna hang them from my flowers. So at first, I'm gonna punch three holes only. So I have my three holes here. I got one, two, three. And now I'm gonna punch holes in my flowers. Since I'm gonna hang bees from the flowers, I'm gonna wanna punch two holes in each, opposite from each other. So I have the hole punches on all of the flowers like this. And now I'm gonna pick three of my bees and I'm gonna put a hole punch in the top of them. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna start cutting some string to hang the bees. So now, now that I've got all the bees tied to the flowers, like this, I'm going to tie the flowers to the cloud. So here is this. And now, instead of hanging the other three bees, I'm gonna glue them. I'm gonna glue two of them to the flowers and one of them to the cloud. All right. So here we go. And now, for the final step, we're gonna punch a hole right up here and we're gonna hang a string. And here is the finished product. And once you guys are done with this, we're gonna set them aside and sing a song. So our song is called Must Be a Bee, and it goes to the tune of Do Your Ears Hang Low. So let's sing it twice. Do you buzz all day when you eat and drink and play? Do you wiggle all around when there's things you wanna say? Do you have stripes of black and yellow? Are you a pollen-eating fellow? Then you must be a bee. Okay, second time. Do you buzz all day when you eat and drink and play? Do you wiggle all around when there's things you want to say? Do you ha do you have stripes of black and yellow? Are you a pollen-eating fellow? Then you must be a bee. All right, now let's close out our lesson and pray. Let's bow our heads and close our eyes and fold our hands and we're gonna pray. Dear God, thank you for giving us the bees and thank you for making us your perfect masterpiece. Amen. That's all I have for you guys this week. Tune in next week for more, and I'll see you all later. Bye.